Hi, I'm Kyle with the Brown Safe family. This video covers tips and troubleshooting for fingerprint readers on biometric lock safes. If you have just received your new Brown Safe equipped with a biometric lock, please take a look at the first use video here where we cover changing the entry method from code to fingerprint and then enrolling a new user. Today we will be using a standard biometric unit to demonstrate, but the procedure is the same for either a round or long Kronos biometric panel. The biometric lock balances convenience with security using either fingerprint, six-digit code, or combinations and multiples of both. If you haven't already, please take a look at our Biometric Lock Changing Entry Methods video. In it, we demonstrate all six methods of entry for a brown safe biometric lock. The quickest and most convenient entry method is to use a single fingerprint. Brown safe biometric units are designed so that if you use a single fingerprint to open your safe, you can in fact open the safe without the need to open the cover plate. There are a few ways to ensure you get the most consistent experience from your biometric reader, both in terms of enrolling fingerprints and reading them for quick and easy access to your safe. The reader can fail to record or confirm fingerprints if the reader is dirty or has moisture on it. To clean the reader, use a damp microfiber cloth to wipe down and a dry cloth to dry the reader. Using a soft microfiber cloth is preferable as wood pulp fibers in papers and some paper towels can lightly scratch the coating and over time haze the surface of the reader. Never use a solvent as the Teflon coating, despite being largely non-reactive, will haze if exposed to certain chemicals and obscure the reading technology the biometric unit uses to record and verify prints. When enrolling fingerprints, the unit can record three scans for up to three fingers per user. You can use the third finger scan to trigger a duress signal. Using that finger will open the safe normally while silently notifying authorities that you are in distress. For the duress alert to function, your brown safe must be equipped with the silent signal alert option and properly communicating with your alarm or home automation system. One method we recommend for improving the reader's ability to recognize your print is to provide it with more examples of your fingerprint during the enrollment process. The process is simple. After scanning the first finger three times, you will be asked, scan another finger. Press OK to start the scanning process again, but use the same finger you enrolled the first print on. Repeat this again for the third finger if you do not have a silent alarm installed on the safe. If you do have a silent signal alarm, you will need to use a different finger for the third finger scanned. This is very important. If the same finger is used for the silent alarm as the previous two finger scans, sometimes the safe will open and sometimes the safe will open and signal the authorities silently. It's also a great idea to enroll a less used finger in the form of a backup user. For example, if it is natural for you to use your right hand thumb for safe entry, it would be a good idea to enroll the index finger from that same hand as a backup and to improve your opening convenience. If you don't have a backup finger enrolled, you can still enter the safe by using the master code to swap the unit from a fingerprint read to code only. Before scanning, make sure your fingers are not wet or excessively dry. Before scanning your finger, practice pressing the finger you intend to scan onto the reader a few times to find the most natural position. This is exactly how you should perform the enrollment scan. Make sure as much of your finger makes contact with the reader plate. Press firmly but not excessively hard as this can distort the print on your finger. Very lightly pressing or resting your finger at an angle can lift part of the finger and the reader will only receive a partial scan. If you have long nails, try using the finger or thumb with the shortest nail to ensure as much of your print as possible makes contact with the reader. For tip top performance, we recommend rescanning your finger at the same time you replace the safe's batteries, that is once each year. Over time, your normal everyday life experiences can subtly change your fingerprints. Not that the wrinkles change shape or pattern, but rather how pronounced or shallow they are. Natural wrinkles and puckers emerge or are worn away from working with your hands or even from chemical peels and skin replenishing treatments. 
Also, significant weight loss or gain can affect the depth of your fingerprints. If you have not updated your fingerprint on your biometric lock safe in over a year, or you are experiencing failed reads on your safe, then it is a good idea to re-enroll your fingerprint. Please take a look at our re-enrolling fingerprints video here. Thanks for watching and be sure to check back or subscribe for more videos covering common problems using a biometric entry lock.